You know, I don't think you understand the insanity of Starbucks. To try and explain it to you, I brought with me a, a bit of a sample. This is the size of a Vente coffee. Now, I assume this is designed to look after an entire football team. I don't know what kind of shape someone's going to be in by the time they get to work after drinking a Vente coffee, but I am pretty confident that they could win the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> You know, if you think about it, you look at your employees, and at 9 o'clock in the morning, they're all running around like the Tasmanian devil. But by 11 o'clock, they're meter in a junkyard dock. Well, you don't have to look any further than a Starbucks Vente for your explanation. Anyway, I'm getting the swing of it, so finally she gives me the coffee, and uh, I'm thinking to myself, uh, it's black. I, I asked for... Uh, I asked for a regular. Oh yes sir, you can go to the counter over there and you can choose between milk, soya milk, lactose free milk, you can choose between 2% milk, 3% cream, uh, milk powder, and as far as sugar goes, well we've got sugar crystals, white sugar, sugar uh, locale sugar, we've got brown sugar, we've got sugar sticks. Now I'm thinking, this is insane. Then she said to me, would you like some carrot cake? <laughs> I'm a, maybe a big ugly guy, but even I can't take a carrot cake at 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> then she turned to me and said, would you like a CD? I think, what, am I in Walmart? <laughs> no. What, why, do, why would I want a CD of a coffee? Well, sir, are you on Twitter? I think, where is this conversation going? I just want a cup of coffee. Why do you want to know if I'm on Twitter? Well, sir, if you're on Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter, and you can be one of the first to find out when we get a new flavor of coffee. <laughs> now I'm thinking, I can't believe this. No wonder our world's going insane. I said, no, thank you. Are you on Facebook, sir? <laughs> what? Sir, would you like to become our friend on Facebook? <laughs> How weird is that? But I tell you what was even more pathetic than that, I actually am on Facebook. <laughs> and Facebook is sending a message to all my 12 friends and anyone who visits my page that I only have 12 friends and could somebody help me find some more friends. <laughs> Facebook has made me the designated loser. <laughs> so sad as it was, I was actually took them up and said, yes, I'll actually become a friend of Starbucks. <laughs> anyway, finally, I said, okay, so uh, what's the damage here? $2.25, sir. Would you like to pay by debit card, credit card, Starbucks loyalty card, Starbucks friendship card, gives you a free cup of coffee after every 10 visits. Well, by the end, you got a chance to get outraged over the ridiculous price for the cup of coffee before she confused me with all these other options. Anyway, at that point, somebody came over and introduced himself to me as the head barista. <laughs> I think, what? Anyway, the barista said to me, you know, thank you for coming today. I just want to know, was your visit to Starbucks meaningful? <laughs> were, we, were we special? Were you, call us, were you calling us in the morning? And I looked at the eye, as, as a guy, I was finally on familiar territory. And I said to her, oh, absolutely. This was a meaningful experience. You're special to me, and I'll certainly call on you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> now it amazes me that women, after 2,000 years, still believe a guy when he says he's going to call on them in the morning. <laughs> anyway, as I was wandering away, as I was wandering away, I couldn't help notice the next customer come, and this woman was gorgeous. <clears throat> and I couldn't help, I just had to kind of wait and see what kind of coffee she was getting. <laughs> anyway, I listened, and what she wanted, and I, I'll see if I can get it right, she wanted a Vente, a decaf, a light foam, 180 degree, a cappuccino, with chocolate sprinkles. Now, I don't know why, but the phrase high maintenance 
drifted through my mind. <laughs> anyway, I watched this concoction was prepared. And when it was delivered to her, she looked at it with absolute disdain. There are no chocolate sparkles on this. Are you people stupid? Don't you listen? I come here all the time. I don't have time for this. Make me another cup of coffee. Now, I watched the guy behind the counter, and I kind of understood what he was saying, because he looked at her and he said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll fix that for you. <laughs> but I couldn't help thinking there's some poor guy out there that's going to marry this diva. And I was thinking to myself, can you imagine what she's going to be like in bed if she's this demanding about a cup of coffee? <laughs> to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. <laughs> Higher, lower. What are you, stupid? Can't you listen? Don't you dare fall asleep on me. <laughs> Some poor guy out there is going to marry this diva based on the package and find out that she was way beyond her best before date. <laughs> <laughs>